<laughs> now it's time, John. It's time for you. This, this for the floor little, is little, John's. Little. The floor belongs to Mr. Steel City himself to talk about the, the catch-up stadium down in uh, Pittsburgh. Take it away. Oh, we took a bathroom break before this, and I was considering grabbing the ketchup bottle. <laughs> it would have been too emotional, man. It been way too emotional. You know, after all, they may not be getting rid of the ketchup bottle inside the stadium, but my heart is broken, guys. I mean, as a kid that grew up as a big-time Steelers fan, you know, I'd always play Madden. Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, there was a ring to it well before I knew what even Heinz was and where it came from as a young kid. And the Steelers brand, you know, they're in Pennsylvania, but they're in Western PA. The stadium was a large part of that. They had the quarterback. That was the image of the team. They had it all. They had the stadium. And now after 20 years, stadium name is changing too. This is the first and last time we're going to call it this. The Akrafar Stadium, a uh, Michigan insurance company, which is you know a little bit different than Heinz Ketchup in terms of uh, familiarity with Pittsburgh. That's neither here nor there. Ultimately in life, it's it all comes down to business. It's like anything else in pro sports. And when it comes to naming rights contract for, for an NFL stadium, the Steelers, they had the second lowest naming rights contract, the second least amount of dollars. When they signed their deal of Heinz in 2001, it was for $2.85 million annually, which in 2022 ranked 31st in the NFL. But with that, sure, they offered over $10 million per year for the next but whatever it is, I don't care. I don't want the stadium name to be Acre Shore. They offer the Steelers 300, a 350% uh, increase from the initial rate. And that right there allows the Steelers to continue building the museum. I forget the exact name of it, which is off to the side. And more importantly, it'll allow the Steelers to keep their stadium on the North Shore. I'm just really sad, you know. I, I'll never call the stadium this ever. I, all, all due respect to the company, you're really just – people say Steelers fans will get over it, but every time I call it Heinz Field and they go, Akershore, I'm going to cringe every single time because that's not what I know it as. And they're saying maybe they'll keep keep the ketchup bottles, the seats will stay, you know, the typical Steeler colors, all that good stuff. But not only is there not the same ring to it, but aesthetically it's just – Part part of as as the Steeler fans all being stripped away from me. Ben is gone. Kevin Colbert's gone. The stadium name's gone. And you, you know, we go through all these years of suffering. As you know, I'm someone that never got to see them win the Super Bowl. My first year watching the team was um 2008. So the year after the San Antonio Mahomes catch in Super Bowl 43. And, you know, I never got to catch that. So for me, my entire time as a Steeler fan has just been disappointment and letdowns in the postseason. I never got to see them win a Super Bowl. I, I got to watch them lose to the Packers, which is, I'm not a Jet fan, so I could be really fortunate. But at least as a Jets fan, you know what you're signing yourself up for. Mm. As a Steeler fan, you're expecting the world because this is one of the, the, the best organizations in North American sports. And I'm just so sad. It's all my I get it, bro. If if Yank if Yankee Stadium ended up turning into Amazon Stadium, I would I would lose my mind. It'd be way I worse think, than Amazon. I think you're feeling the same pain as uh, Lakers fans right now. Oh yeah. Uh, Staples uh, Arena becoming uh, crypto, whatever. Then, this honestly might be worse. I don't know. I don't think so. Staples it's Center, it, do, it doesn't represent Los Angeles the same way Heinz does Pittsburgh. Heinz is Pittsburgh, and they're named as some Michigan insurance company. I guess this, and, and plus, the Lakers weren't playing in the Staples Center. I mean, they, they were in another arena, if I'm not mistaken, before with Kobe and Shaq. Kobe and Shaq weren't always in the Staples Center. So I guess you're right. You're right, John. This this yeah. stinks. So you know what? Before Before we move on to trivia, can you share with us your experience at, at Heinz Field? Yeah, I got to. Fortunately, you know, this last year I went, and that was a whirlwind of a weekend for me as a Steeler fan. I never went to Heinz Field. And when I know it, it would be the Steelers' second and last game 
with it being known as Heinz. But, ooh, you know, every time they score a touchdown, they got like, the catcher bottles by the scoreboard. I don't remember exactly, but, you know, catch up, like the theme on like the outskirt, it, it's really cool. And, you know, I'm sure that the color and the branding of the stadium will be similar, but this allows the Steelers to renovate what was, you know, one of the, the lowest or the cheapest deals in the NFL to all of a sudden renovate the stadium. And Heinz Field as it is, it's an, an awesome location. Like I'm from New Jersey. I compare it to MetLife. And MetLife is like down on the floor, like this water bottle is upside down. Heinz Field's up here, man. Amazing location. The tailgates there are way better because while it may be really cold, you're not going to watch crappy football when you're actually in the stadium. So there's a big, big difference there. Actually, something to look forward to. The tailgate isn't the best part. Steeler games are awesome. I mean, then again, I've only been to two stadiums. Let me tell you, man, all the people have been all of them, they say Pittsburgh, they, they've got one of the best experiences as a fan. And, you know, this being able to go to a place where it's not just a stadium for football, but it's, it's you know, oh, so much of it is just, frankly, in the football season, Starts with a T, I'm blanking on the word. I don't know. What did you say? I didn't hear you. I didn't the word that. starts with the letter T, not transportation for some reason. That... What are you referring tourist, to? Tourist, tourism. Tourist, okay. Go. It's a tourist attraction. You know, you go in the stadium and people will be holding signs, you know, I'm from this yay amount of miles away, Hawaii. A lot of New Jersey people would be holding the signs at the, at the pro shop because there's Steeler fans all over. It's similar to Dallas where you got them everywhere because of the 70s dominance. All those people that are kids then are now parents now. So it's a tourist attraction. The tailgates are really fun. And the community of Steelers fandom, there was nothing like it in Big Ben's last home game versus the Baltimore Ravens. And let me tell you, watching him beat Lamar Jackson... And then seeing Lamar slam his helmet on the sidelines, nothing felt better. It was one of the coolest things for me. Just watch us kick the Ravens at home. And frankly, it's an awesome stadium. I'm just never calling it that name, ever. Well, at least the stadium is still there, and they're, and they're keeping that same location. Certainly. So you, you'll get over the name change <sighs> yeah. the, when Kenny Pickett is throwing dimes to Deontay Johnson. Until he gets traded somewhere. 